Welcome to the groundbreaking of the St. Pete Pier. For those of you who can't quite see me, I'm pinching myself to make sure that this is real. Because it is. This is a wonderful, wonderful day. I am Dr. Kanika Tomlin, Deputy Mayor of this beautiful city, and so pleased and proud and happy to welcome you here today. I'm glad to see faces from every corner of our community, even some visitors from outside of our community, recognizing the importance of this day that's been a very long time coming. So I'll save my usual lengthy remarks because I'm not gonna let anything stand between us and turning those shovels. But first, I would like to recognize and thank for their presence here, uh, our partners in this endeavor, our St. Petersburg City Council, Chairwoman Darden Rice, <laughs> Vice Chair Lisa Willer Bowman, Council Member Carl Nurse, Ed Montaneri, and Charlie Gertis. We did it, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for your service. We also have representing the Pinellas County Commissioners, Commissioner Ken Walsh, Darlena Herring. Thank you for being here. And to all of our other many partners and thought leaders and participants and citizens who have contributed to this day, Thank you for being here and to tell us the significance of this day and the vision behind it and how we've made it this far. Here's our mayor, the great mayor, Rick Kreisman. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, you know, I see uh, here in the crowd, New York Times bestselling author, Randy Ray Wayne Wright has joined us. So it's good to see you here, Randy. My friends, what's the old saying? Good things come to those who wait. Well, today we get to celebrate those good things. Today is not a dream. This is real life. We are actually building a pier. This is, however, a dream come true for so many in our community. For more than a decade, countless elected officials, community leaders, engaged citizens, and city staff have poured an immeasurable amount of time and energy into this project, perhaps the highest profile endeavor in our city's history. And it hasn't been easy. Lord knows it hasn't been easy. Uh, and it hasn't always been smooth. But few public projects like this are. And that's okay. The goal is to make it worth it. And with this extension of our fabulous waterfront park system, complete with dynamic programming, family activities, dining options, and amazing views, I am confident it will be. I am confident this pier will do what piers throughout our history have done, serve as the most important public space in our city. A great equalizer that brings our diverse population together where fun can be had no matter where you live or your level of income. I am a fan of green space, especially as we continue to grow. Since 2014, we've pr protected, preserved, or added about 50 acres of green space to our city. And with this new pier, we're adding even more, and that's important to me adding to one of our nation's largest publicly owned waterfront park systems is a tribute to our founders and a gift to our future and it's a beautiful illustration of our city's vision statement now some have said that the new design for the pier needed to be iconic but what a lot of us realized is that we don't need a building to have something iconic on our waterfront we already have something iconic on our waterfront it's our park system. Our waterfront park system is what's iconic. It's what separates us and makes us stand out from cities all over the world. And this new pier certainly adds to that iconic feature. Now, before I hand it off to Vince, I wanna give a huge thanks to our city council members, the ones currently serving our city and the ones who previously served. 
We would not be here without their support and authorizations, so please give them a big round of applause. Thank you all. And the same goes for our county commissioners. They have been vital to moving forward and will continue to be, and I know they would love to have been here. They had a conference uh, that was out of this uh, community that many of them are at, so they couldn't be here today, uh, but they've been great partners this whole process through. And finally, to my team. I don't think there's a department in our city that hasn't had a hand in moving this project forward. From our city administrator, Gary Cornwell, and Deputy Mayor, Dr. Kanika Tomlin on down, this is truly a team effort. But there is one guy in particular who we tapped to be the quarterback of the team almost two years ago. And he's been moving the ball downfield ever since with very little fanfare. So I'd ask you to please give a round of applause to Chris Balestra. And I know that Chris has also had a great partner that's worked hand in hand with him on everything he's been doing, and that's our city architect, Raul Quintana. So I'm gonna leave you with one question. Are we ready to build a pier? Yeah! I'm gonna hand it off to Vince. Vince, Vince is our pier project designer. Vince? Thank you. Uh, please let me start by saying what an honor it's been to work on such a transformative project and a privilege to work with the mayor, city staff, particularly uh, Chris Balestra and Raul Quintana, our design partners, Ken Smith Landscape Architects and ASD Sky, <clears throat> our huge group of local and national engineers and collaborators, and Skanska and the construction uh, experts that they brought to bear on the project to get us to this point. We began this project hoping to produce a, um, a design that was forward-thinking but also rooted in the tradition of the city's green necklace of waterfront public spaces. We started with an idea that the pier should be an iconic experience, an active place that anyone could <clears throat> enjoy a day, resident or visitor, whether you had 50 cents or $50. We wanted to make a space for everyone. After input <clears throat> at multiple workshops and many meetings, we believe that we have the mix that fulfills this ideas. Starting with the pier plaza, there's a splash pad, tilted lawn, groves of trees, areas for events like markets or movies, and access to a reconfigured spa beach. Moving out onto the pier, the education center is a place where school kids and adults alike can get a better understanding of the ecology and natural systems of Tampa Bay. It's made up of an interior space for exhibits and a base a Bayside Amphitheater for wet demonstrations, a breakwater reef to observe marine life. Adjoining this is a coastal thicket, a shaded boardwalk to a native landscape providing a glimpse of St. Pete's natural habitat. There's also a flight deck, a place to relax and lay and watch the Cessnas take off overhead. Continue through the events plaza where you might find some food carts or craft fair set up. You get to the lawn bowl and the pier head. The Lawn Bowl is a space for larger events, like concerts or play. When not in use, it e works equally well for picnicking and laying out in the sun. The pier head holds a ground floor cafe, floating restaurant, and shaded overlooks both towards the city and back out over the bay. And not to forget our final space in the pier head, the bait shop, which serves, of course, the fishing pier which down near the water and near the habitat of the old caissons, we're hoping will provide a good catch. So today we start the construction of this new St. Petersburg Pier with all its potential, and we can't wait to see how it's complete and how the citizens of St. Petersburg choose to use it. Thank you. Good morning and welcome. I'm Chris Balestra, Managing Director of Development for the city and uh, very proud and humbled by the outpouring of support here today. This project is very important to all of us. Standing anywhere on our waterfront, you are truly on hallowed ground, particularly at this location right here, right now. 
As we launch into construction on the New Pier District, there are many leaders who've brought us here today. Mayors, council members, a wonderful task force, county commission, working group, uh, and I can't name them all because they all had a massive contribution to bring us to this point, again, right here, right now. Everyone has been dedicated, most have been local, and uh, I could not be more proud of what's happening here today. Of all of those people, though, it's the citizens of this community that made this happen. Whether you were on a task force, whether you attended a meeting or not, the citizens have voiced what they wanted. And like all of this waterfront, this pier is going to be first class for our citizens, world class uh, for the rest of the community to see. We brought together a collaborative team of extremely talented architects, engineers, including, as uh, Vince pointed out, and the mayor, I'm sorry, the mayor pointed out, our city architect, Raul Quintana, uh, who we would not be here without his efforts today. Thank you, Raul. The... With all of these collaborators' uh, help, this project becomes real today. And it follows the design as set forth by the community. Observation and views, dining, access to the water, education, parks, and integration immediately into our downtown core. We're going to have a vibrant and flexible platform for years to come. This is a complicated project. It'll be under construction for about 18 months over land and water. And one of the best decisions uh, I believe we made early on was bringing on the best in construction, Skanska. Our partner in Skanska is going to lead us through this project and has been a collaborator for uh, before we even brought the architects on board, in fact. And so it's been a very uh, uh, helpful process for us to keep us on schedule, on budget, and moving forward. Additionally, we've partnered most recently with Colliers International, an outstanding operator who's going to program and manage this pier moving forward. Again, a world-class team for a world-class project. Our overarching goal on this project was really to have multiple destinations connected by parks. And they're shown in the renderings behind you. For example, behind me will be an education center. The pier head, as Vince mentioned, with restaurants, cafe, bait shop, huge event plaza, and then immediate fishing, uh, which I think all of us love in this location. Additionally, just 100 feet to my right, uh, over your left shoulder, uh, a children's splash pad leading to the reimagined spa beach. 150 feet behind you, children's play area, Echo Gardens, right up the road here, marketplace, and to my left, something we really haven't had uh, and needed for many years in downtown, 25 courtesy boat slips. Uh, again, proximate, immediate, accessible, and easy for the public to take advantage of this great asset and the entire downtown waterfront park system. So again, we're a very passionate lot, us St. Petersburgers. Uh, again, as uh, uh, our chamber uh, members and Chris Steinacher have said many times, we are, uh, uh, we, we like family, we fight uh, like family, and the results are obvious over the, what you've seen develop on this waterfront for the last hundred years. It's been a lot of dedicated people who brought us here, and it's been, so, frankly, some of those arguments that have arrived at the right decisions on where we are right here today. Again, now we're turning the page to move into the next century with the new pier. It's been a privilege to work closely with everybody here today up to this point. There'll be something for everyone at the new pier. So let's get started. Thank you. I'd like to bring up a... Uh, a big supporter of the pier and uh, uh, someone that you're gonna you're gonna really enjoy uh, hearing from mr. Steven Ergo people are very passionate about the pier you've noticed that <laughs> they're passionate about peers of the past and the different concepts pr uh, presented for the future we are so excited to finally see construction start on the new st. Pete pier and for those a little uncertain a little unsure about what's to come let me assure you, I believe you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. When I'm interested in something, like the pier, I enjoy getting into the details, doing a little research. People will be surprised as they discover all its cool features. More than a few pictures can show. The many talented architects on this project have designed something truly innovative. In fact, award-winning. Improving up piers of St. Pete's past 
Their design looks to St. Pete's future, complementing the thriving Beach Drive area and our beautiful waterfront. The new pier is not just an addition to the waterfront, it will be an extension of it. Drawing new attention to the bay, it will educate people to its incredible ecosystem and natural wonder. I believe the new pier in Uplands, the new pier district, will be the heart of St. Petersburg, a place to visit again and again, a place to bring family and friends, a place where new memories will be made for generations to come. Thank you all. Go Pier. This is just what an exciting day. I just can't even wipe the smile off my face. Just this is a long road to get here and um, what a beautiful day. The pier belongs to the community. It belongs to the people. And today's groundbreaking connects us with our past and it pledges us to the future. The waterfront is sacred. Nowhere else is this more evident than in our charter. Our city charter begins with nothing less than listing the protections and the process for the stewardship of our environment, of our waterfront. And we honor that responsibility of stewardship and we have throughout this process. Today, we stand, you look towards Beach Drive and we stand amidst progress and prosperity. But it wasn't always so not 30 years ago. So we placed a strategic bet on our future. We created a community reinvestment area and a tax increment financing district to strategically channel resources to downtown. And slowly, with the efforts of many, we became the 30-year overnight success. So today we have living spaces, working spaces, places to shop, museums to visit, venues to see concerts, historic hotels, and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful parkland that has supported the city all along. And soon we will have a new pier. The pier is what is owned by the people. The pier is where any family can afford to spend time, buy hot dogs for the kids, feed the pelicans, cast a fishing line, hear music, see art, learn about marine life at the Ecological Center, and so much more that will be offered so that anyone from St. Pete and all of St. Pete can enjoy downtown with meaningful activities that are fun, affordable, and will create memories. You know, at one time, our success in the private sector was so evident that some even wondered if we needed to build a civic pier anymore. But to cancel the pier would have been to pull the rug out from the civic public amenities that downtown still very much needs for everyone. It would have been wrong at best, and forgetful at least, to take all those public dollars away from completing the pier and not fulfilling our promise to the public. Because the pier does not belong to the few. The pier belongs to the many, and the pier belongs to our future. Thank you. And with that, we're gonna bring we are going to bring up our one of my favorite constituents who I hear from on a fairly frequent basis. And believe me, I do what she says, but it's another as a representative of who our future is and the real ninth grader, Betsy Johnson, please come up to the podium. Today, we celebrate the groundbreaking for the new St. Pete Pier, the new intergenerational landmark of St. Pete. The pier is a place that will represent the city for decades to come. That is why I care about it. This pier will serve as a place for anyone to enjoy, all ages and all generations. I'm really excited about the pier. I was nine the last time the inverted pyramid was open. I'm glad that St. Petersburg is going to receive a new centerpiece of the town, something that continues the effort to create a beautiful waterfront while mixing in fun places for all ages to enjoy. Way back when I read through the pier plans, I had one thing in mind. I want to enjoy it. I hadn't been to the inverted pyramid much, just a couple times when I was little. What kept going in my mind was, I want a place where I can get a snack and go do my homework. As it is, I'll have a place to hang out with my friends. I know the new St. Pete Pier will be a huge success. The name Pier Park that was originally designated to this pier during the selection process fits it to a T. It's a pier with a marina right next door 
and a park. It's part of the Waterfront Master Plan, and it's a big chunk of that. St. Pete has many beautiful parks, and this will add garden areas as well as a large lawn that would be the perfect spot for a fun picnic with family or a Super Bowl tailgate with friends. This pier will be the perfect gathering place for a wonderful growing city. The new St. Pete Pier will have it all. Restaurants, event space, beautiful views, luscious gardens, a small beach, places for boating, sailing, and such. It's the perfect place to have an important business meeting, have a family picnic, or meet up with friends. This pier is exactly what St. Petersburg has been waiting for for the past four years. St. Pete's new pier is for all ages and all generations. This icon will be beautiful and help make our city become even more exciting. I can't wait to visit this intergenerational landmark of St. Pete. Thank, thank you so much, Betsy. So before we break ground, we're going to do one minute. I, I had a, a small, uh, almost surprise uh, announcement um, with great effort by our uh, architectural team, John Curran, uh, Ken Smith as well, Kate Larson, who's here, Rob Rogers, who could not be here today. Uh, they have put together a virtual reality uh, tour of the pier. Um, and they've just, via FedEx, uh, received the cardboard boxes, which you can get here today. Uh, find one of our team, and we'll get them to you. And uh, effectively, um, and you can still see, it still looks very cool without the boxes, but uh, you go to www.asdsky.com slash pier. And uh, it's kind of a neat virtual tour walking through the pier. With that, uh, let's break ground.